Hello there, I'm Tim. I'm Fraser. And this is Newman Bros Tone. So today we are going to be looking at the Boss RV6, um, which is also for sale. So if you like what you see today, you can follow the link in the description and you can purchase this very pedal that we are going to be trying for you today. So do you want to have a go first? Let's do it. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is clean with no reverb. Cool, so we're going into a Fender Blues Deluxe, my trusty old Fender Blues Deluxe. Um, sorry if there's random noises and crackles and things, I really need to get it serviced and I think some of the tubes are on their way out. Um, but it's a great amp just to most pedal manufacturers test their pedals through Fender Blues Deluxes. Um, so yeah, we're going to be going through that. Uh, we're just going straight in. As you'll see from the other shot, we have it on the pedal. That's the only pedal that we have going into the amp. Okay, <coughs> do you want to... What settings did you like then? You uh, want to go through? Just a quick question, <coughs> is it bad to have that like that? Uh, you can pull it round, yeah. Is it... Because it kind of annoys me when it's round. Oh, okay. No, you can leave it there then. It's fine. Can you give me the modulate setting? So we're going to take it in turns and play you through um, some features of this pedal and uh, while one of us is playing the other one's going to help us change the, the uh, settings on the pedal. So one of my favourite settings is the modulate on this one. Just go again. I feel like you could really push this sound as well and make it quite unique um, and quite kind of atmospheric y. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so this is a bit more of a kind of different setting. Um, it's got your standard spring reverb, hall reverb, plate reverb um, that you would expect in a multi-effect reverb pedal. Um, it's also got a delay sound, so should we try that one quick? Yeah. yeah. I quite like this when it's on kind of a slapback setting. Um, yeah, so yeah, one thing that we discovered you can do with this one is actually go to, um, if you turn the, so you'll see here, this one here is time, and if you turn this all the way back, so that there is no time between the delays, um, you get almost like this immediate, it's almost like a reverb sound, so do you want to go for that? Mm -hmm. So what that's really good for is uh, an always on pedal, just to leave it on and, and to kind of have those sounds. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely a setting that I would use as when I'm doing, uh, just singing and playing guitar. I think that would be a great pedal just to have on. Mm -hmm. It's got quite a lot of attitude and quite a lot of kind of bite. It's quite a tight reverb sound, whereas the modulate which we had before is more atmospheric. Okay, Fraser, do you want to show us a few that you like? Yep. So the way these videos are kind of going to work is that I'm more of an amateur when it comes to pedals. Um, I do a lot of, I'm a singer-songwriter, so that's what I do day to day, but in terms of pedals and um, amps and all that sort of stuff, I'm just kind of getting into it. So we'll also document the process of me building my first board, but a lot of it will be Fraser teaching me stuff, which hopefully you can learn from as well. Not that so. I'm necessarily a pro, but I've had pedal boards for a few years and, and stuff. Yeah. But um, we're both not the professionals, but um, hopefully we'll be able to show you guys some things that you might like.
So that was the hall sound, wasn't it? Which I really like the hall on this pedal. I think they've done a really good job. Um, obviously, a hall is quite a common reverb, but this is is up there. I think it's really nice hall sound. Um, mm. Should we go over to the um, what's the other one? The latch? No, what's it called? The one that shimmer? No, the oh, let's do the shimmer. Oh, dynamic. Yeah, let's do the shimmer first. We'll do shimmer. So this is the shimmer sound. Um, yeah, I'll play it for you now. So you could kind of hear the shimmer there on a lower setting and on a high setting. Mm. Um, to be honest, with this shimmer, personally, I feel like it works better when it's more of a... It's kind of set back a little bit more. Yeah, I, I mean, shimmer can be a very harsh effect generally, but I personally don't like the sound of this shimmer on, on this particular pedal. Um, I would say you wouldn't buy this pedal if you wanted a great shimmer. Um, I've got one of the Nunaba Seraphim shimmers on, on my board and you know, you're know you paying £200 just for a shimmer mm. reverb. So obviously when I compare it to what I'm used to it's not going to be the same because this is part of a pedal that does lots of different things. Um, I think the highs are very harsh on this. Yeah, it's the high end but then again when you turn the tone down and roll back the um, the effects level. I actually think it sounds quite nice, and I, to me, it sounds great. But you're used to other things than me. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're starting out and and it's like a, you want to try a shimmer, um, it's great that that you can have it in there as an option to kind of get used to the sound and try it out with your other pedals and things like that. So maybe yeah. that's useful. There's definitely better shimmers out there. Um, and then the last setting is one that both of us were really impressed with. What's it called again? Uh, dynamic, this one. Yeah, the one. dynamic. So this one actually, um, we the manual is, is in the box with this pedal. Um, and you, if you if you want to purchase it, you'll get the manual with it. And it tells you that the dynamic um, follows your playing a little bit. So uh, let's listen to that. Or do you want to play? Uh, no, go for it. Yeah, that is very, very impressive because yeah. did you hear? So the reason I went to the chords at one point is because um, that really shows the kind of um, the versatility of that mm. sound. Of when I'm really hashing it, it kind of drops right out, doesn't it? Yeah, it's almost like like it's kind of just dry. Yeah. Then it, and then it obviously comes back in when I was playing softer and higher up the neck. You've got the atmospheric mm. um, kind of balance. I think it's a similar sound to the modulate setting, um, mm. but it's kind of like between the modulate and the shimmer to me, mm. but it's it follows your playing, so it's very expressive, which I think is quite cool. Yeah. I think that's quite an exciting setting, actually. Yeah. So this is our top three section of the video, and top three is where we give three tips of how this pedal might be used. Maybe something that we don't like about the pedal might be included in that, a suggestion for how you might use this pedal, um, our favourite setting on the pedal, uh, different things like that. So this is our top three. I think the number one thing that I would say um, is that the dynamic setting is really, really useful if you're a singer-songwriter like Tim. 
mm. uh, because as a singer songwriter you want to you might want to be thrashing something in the chorus but then in the verse you're going to go to something a lot more quiet and stripped back and so you want something where you're not going to have to bend down and fiddle with the knobs if you're focusing on singing for example mm -hmm. Um, so I think this pedal's great for that, isn't it? Yeah, I think it would be interesting to try, totally. Um, I love the modulate setting. I keep going on about it, but I really think it's impressive. It doesn't sound cheap, it doesn't sound fake, it just sounds quite atmospheric and beautiful in my opinion. Um, and I think that could be something that would be really fun to play with, mm -hmm. and you get a really high quality sound. Uh, yeah, and I think the third one for me would have to be, uh, well, I'll split it, let's do four three and a half uh, yeah <laughs> so i would say the shimmer i would say caveat for me personally the shimmer isn't great that's that's what i would say mm -hmm. but then um the other one would be that the delay sound on here um to me it almost seems a little bit pointless to put a delay on a reverb pedal because you it what would be good is if you could have the delay and mix it in with a reverb yeah. sound but you can't do that if you're on the delay setting you're on it and you can't change it yeah um, but the positive of, that we found from the delay is that if you have the delay on, you can have it as a, like an always on thing that just adds a little bit of presence to what you're mm. playing. Um, Fender amps have this, uh, this kind of knob on the back called presence, uh, which, which to me does a very, an, on a lesser extent, does a similar kind of thing of, of adding a bit of something to your playing and, and what you're doing. Yeah, I think in terms of, in terms of a slap back sound, so far from my limited experience using pedals it's one of the the nicer ones i've actually heard and i think it i just love the bite that it has mm. when you turn the delay on this right down and you get that slap back effect um yeah cool so guys we just want to thank you so much for coming by and watching this video if you do want to buy this pedal we have got it for sale we'll put a link down below where you can go check it out um it's in the box and it's new it's only been used for a demo so check that out. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe and follow along because we're going to be uh, learning together, going on this journey together as brothers and hopefully taking you guys along the journey as well. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.